Hey guys, in this video I will be showing you guys how to make your screen scroll on Scratch. As you can see, whenever you click the right and le or left arrow, it moves. The screens move, and you can you can customize the screens as much as you want, but just to save time I'm just doing it like this. This is the main code, and so I'll be showing you guys how to do this, and thank you for watching, and please subscribe. Later. Okay, so first, the first step is you have to make two bases. You can make as many as you want for a big game, you'll probably need a lot more, but I'm just making two to save time. Uh, okay, and just to make sure it works the first time, to do two different colors, just to make sure I am right. You can customize these as much as you want. I'm just putting them on the rectangles. Okay, let's get started with the code. When I clicked, first you have to make a variable. The variable is for all of the sprites and will be used a lot. You can name them scrolling screens, scroll X, whatever. Just try to make it... Uh, have to do with scrolling. So I'm just gonna do sc I'm just gonna do scrolling. And like I did in my other games, moving, you have to do the same thing, but instead of instead of instead of like instead of using Y and X axis, just use the variable. So when key right arrow and when key left arrow are pressed, then change scroll change scrolling by four. I just do four. But the thing is, they're a lot different because usually the negative number is on usually the negative number is on left, but now the negative number is on the right. So Change it, change scrolling by minus four, and that's that's about all you really need to do on the on this sprite. Oh yeah, also you need to set scrolling to zero so it st stays at the beginning. Okay, now for these two, now for the sprites that actually move. The, this part is kind of complicated. It's kind of hard to understand, but I'm gonna try. So, forever, it always stays at this position. Go to scrolling, scrolling plus four hundred and eighty. So that that is the whole width of the screen. Plus four hundred eighty, and usually time zero. You know that's going to be zero, but it's supposed you're supposed to have you're supposed to have a tie you're supposed to have multiplication in there. So on the first one you always do zero. And then just copy this, duplicate it, put it in the next sprite, and change the multiplication number by plus one. So I'm just now it's zero, now it's one. That should be all you need to know. So, let's see if this works. Yeah, it works. So, it's best if you put the sprite down here so it actually looks like it's moving. Oh, well, that's all you need to know. Please subscribe and please subscribe. Look at my look at the rest of my videos. Like, comment and please tell your friends. Thank you.